A lot of you might remember a couple months ago, we made a video about mirroring your phone to a radio that did not have an HDMI input. What we used was an adapter called the Bueller BU HDMI V. Using the AV adapter and an HDMI cable, we transferred the output of my screen on my phone with the Bueller to the RC outputs of its adapter to the RC inputs of the radio. The result is really great, it's highly effective, but it is a little costly. This adapter was a hit, a bunch of you guys got it for yourselves at home and in your cars with a lot of success, and we're happy to hear that. The Bueller itself costs about $30, $35. The Lightning Digital AV adapter itself costs about $50, Plus you need an HDMI cable. It's a little much for some people. So today we're introducing a brand new adapter that we just got in from Bueller, the SPA 300. This adapter does not require an AV adapter or an HDMI. All it needs is a USB to transfer your phone screen to your radio screen. It's a lot more cost efficient and easier to install. One of the best parts about it is opposed to the Bueller, it doesn't require USB for power. The actual harness for the SPA 300 has the three RC audio video outputs, plus those power ground and trigger right here on the wiring harness. It makes it a lot easier to install and power. It also has an optional five volt power input and the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary microphone Input. So in this setup, I would use my iPhone 6 with my charging cable, the lightning cable, plug that right into the box, which you power with the harness, and then plug right into the RCA inputs of the radio. This adapter also comes with a 3.5 millimeter extension. However, it doesn't come with a USB extension, so I highly recommend checking out our site to get one for yourself if you get this adapter. I have the link in the bio below. All you need is something like this. The radio I'm going to use today to show this process is the Pioneer AVIC 5200 NEX. This radio is perfect for this demonstration because it does not have an HDMI input. Instead, it has RCA audio video input. All right, so I powered up the 5200 next in the SPA 300 plugged into my phone with just a USB with a lot of radios like this one You have to go into the system settings and turn on the AV source So make sure that's on a lot of people skip that step. So we're just gonna go right into the AV source of the 5200 next And there we go my phone is mirrored onto the screen now I can open up pretty much anything I want so I can go into Google Maps and get directions and put it right on the screen rather than looking down at my phone. Or you can go right into Waze and use that. I know a lot of people like that instead of Google Maps or Apple Maps. But as you can see, you'll have to horizontally flip your phone to see it horizontally on the screen. The home screen is an automatic vertical screen. You can't change that, so that's why that's always vertical when it comes up. You can even go into YouTube if you want to waste your data or if you have unlimited data and watch some videos on there because this does transfer audio and video. Theoretically, you could use a backup camera input to do this, but you won't have audio transferred. That's just a word of caution. And I just wanna be honest with you guys, as you can see, it comes up, it looks fine, you can see everything, but the image quality isn't perfect. It's not as good as the Bueller because we're not using an HDMI here. There's even a little bit of screen noise right there that you can definitely see. It's definitely a lot cheaper. It's a fraction of the cost. It's a lot easier to install, so it's up to you if you can live with that or not. And don't forget to ground the parking brake or use a bypass link and bottle for one of those. But that's it guys, check out the Bueller SPA 300 online at qualitymobilevideo.com. Get yours with us today, link's in the bio, click up top, we got cards for them too. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, like this video, leave your comments below, and thanks for watching.